the part just to help out. You know the when everyone says getting 30 makes you old, I think the most beneficial thing is that being 30 is like in your 20s, but you can afford to do stuff. <laughs> if things go well. Well, okay. <laughs> you're not old enough where your bones hurt, but like you have a little bit more money than when you're a struggling college kid. My back if you did everything right, yeah. If you did everything right. You can't speak on your back. I'm still, you know, where's no, my ring fit? No. You're, you're killing it. You're killing it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Meister and Alan Dis. And right now, this is kind of what I believe you were saying earlier, Skiff, where it's just really, really hard for Alan to land. Like, sure, we've shown and seen that Alan has the chops, but you got to get over this first hurdle, this level one of the matchup. Right. Yeah. Part of the problem too is that Meister already has two uh, slots of the bucket filled because he took a C4 at like the first 10 seconds that Allen tried landing and Meister was just not ready for it. But yeah, the landing's gonna be a problem. The projectiles and the more projectiles that Snake throws out, the, the more the bucket fills up, it just becomes a problem of not ever really dealing damage. Because I mean, yeah, Snake Snake can box. You know, he can he can do pretty well with that. But are you gonna outbox Game and Watch? <laughs> like that's tough. Yeah. Definitely hard to say. I, I do wonder if we're gonna see. Ooh, fantastic pair into Epto. Um, I wonder if we're gonna see maybe in the C4. So if, if Alan will let me finish, nope. <laughs> wonder if we're gonna see grenades thrown into the nair because that's something Game Watch likes to approach with a lot, and I would imagine the grenade's gonna blow up, and Game Watch really can't afford that damage. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, are we gonna do for it? Oh, what? You can tell they played together before. That was definitely the setup of, hey, I might do this to two frame you. And Meister says, well, I'll retaliate by trying to get the bucket. Alan says, I know you want to do that, so here's a down tilt for your focus. Mm -hmm. How are they both still alive is my question. Okay, Compensator's okay. Curse, things are hard. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think things are Oh my god, j talk. I'm, I'm growing too powerful. Oh, man. <laughs> you can't stop me. Yeah, life's a simulation, man. You just spoke that into existence. You're just like, hey, put in this code right now. <laughs> Make this happen. To be fair, they're both at like 200. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Both of them trying to get one up on each other here. We got Meister sitting with a solid lead, 90%. But you know what? Just a little bit more damage, especially as light as Game & Watch is. Snake up tilt can absolutely decimate some stocks and just more explosive power behind that as well. Oh, oh really close. Was that actually on Meister? And then it I, blew up while he was still intangible? Um, I don't know if it was on him or if like it was just really close, but either way it would have hit if it was intangible, but that sure as heck is gonna hit. Yeah, I was asking because it, it landed on, it blew up on the platform, but it was thrown off stage originally. Mm -hmm. But uh, either way, Alan Dis has a lead. You know, trying to say, hey, yes, you have won all the times before, but today is a different day. It's Xanadu 400. This is where dreams are made. Tyler LaBeouf talked to me before this. <laughs> and I'm not going to let my dream be a dream anymore. <laughs> I mean, gonna hey, wake got, up and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> gotta be having all that momentum behind you too after you know beating Leo just a set before this, so I'm sure they're feeling pretty invincible at the moment. Ooh, that was such a good recovery. Alan Dis all stage, there's still a C4. You are never safe against this player. Yeah. Honestly, it's really amazing how he manages to bait the opponents into being in that position. Also amazing how Meister, I was just about to say, was avoiding most of them until that one. Avoiding all of them except the ones that count in the 11th hour, and Allen takes game number one. Wow. Um, I was just going to say how we can't count Meister out because, you know, this is one of the best players in the world. Online, offline, doesn't matter. Phenomenal player, knows their matchups. Definitely the favorite to win. And then right before I could say that, Allen this. Securing game number one with a two stock over Meister. Crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Some insane stuff. Um, Alan just cooking, man. Looks like uh, tonight might be their night. But if there's one person, there's one person who I know can just ruin someone run <laughs> in the Wi Fi era. It certainly is Meister. Let's see if he can find a way to retaliate, have an answer in this game, too. Yes. Um. We will definitely find out, and it does feel like there's a lot of momentum on Alan this side right now. Um, last game, 
Meister had a crazy start. Alan just apparently took notes and said, uh, let's see how you like playing from behind. Mm -hmm. Meister might be saying no you with the way this struggle's looking. <laughs> I'm rubber, you're to live. <laughs> there. Okay. Trying to get that stock right there with the C4, 101%. Pretty sure that probably would have killed Gabe Watch. He's like, what, top top five latest characters? Pretty sure. Yes. Yeah. I think we're going to see some shenanigans with Alendis. Oh, there's a C4 here. I'm going to go up tilt to if you try to buck it. Oh. He exploded. There was a bucket attempt. Yeah. How does he keep on setting up these C4s so smooth? I don't know. <laughs> still trying to comprehend I, it, but okay, take a seat. I'd love to uh, I'd love to sit here and be like, pretend I'm the caster that knows everything, and I'm usually pretty good at pretending, but uh, I just do not have an answer for Alan tonight. <laughs> dash attack, dash attack, looking like a true combo right now by Alan. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. I hate snake dash attack. <laughs> I hate that move so much. Why are your arms intangible? I don't understand. It's, it's so fast. It's fast. There's intangibility. It's a really difficult move to deal with, and you just took some damage. 76 and 66. Meister sneaking a lead barely at the moment. That was a really weird way to fly after getting hit by the upbeat. And Alan is not exactly as proficient when playing, you know, from a disadvantage state. Meister keeping the pressure up, dropping these forward airs, looking for an opening, finds a down tilt. Are we going to see an edge guard attempt? No, as Alan just managed to make it back, but Meister, There's smooth a criminal recovery. Yeah, and they got a bucket on the C4, so Alan's on notice. Can't afford to throw too many out in there, but you can throw out all of those you want. Up tilt, taking that stop. Is this the bucket that will one shot? Most I likely. It's not full yet, is it? It's not full, no. Okay. Yeah, but he like, needs one I more. He has the charger too. I don't know. I know he has at least one. I know C4 puts down two charges. That's for sure. Okay. All right, we'll see uh, where it goes from here. Right now, man, Allen's holding onto the stock pretty well. Twenty-eight percent extra credit so far. Oh, Full bucket is. though. This is huge. Don't That's don't. a huge stock. Down throw. Yeah, you can't I mean, get start using all the grenades now, though. You know, here's here's more grenades. Here's more C4s. You can't bucket anymore. Yeah, he can play like Snake. <laughs> yeah. And doing just that. That was almost oh, game. Boy. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, wrong way. Oh, you know what? This is a tactic back from Brawl. Blow yourself up enough so that you don't have to worry about the down throw of the combo. Yeah, I think he still needs a little bit more damage on him. I think so, too. Uh, Probably get it 30%? I think you're no. good now. Never mind. No. Oh, a nair good buy. You were not okay. How much damage is that? He's at 26. All right. And he was zero. at 33, Dead. so it did 60% at 33. <laughs> yep. Jeez. Just assume he's going to die. If he's, like, above 20, I just assume he's going to die from that interaction right there. I've seen it many a times. I've seen it in Brawl many a times. I've seen this game a fair few times. Dude just, just gets blown up. And is it... Sure. Can you always convert off of the Nair, or is that percent based? Does anyone know? Uh, I would um, probably say it's percent based because um, like he only put him two thirty three off that. And it just pops him up just a little bit. So I, I I think if he was like a lot higher, I mean it'd have to be a lot higher for it to not work. But like for the most part, I think um, yeah, like he, he was fine being able. It might to be that. worth going a lot yeah. higher. Maybe that window's probably pretty massive. And then after that, like, if he, like, maybe fast falls through, like, that one, he didn't get hit by the last hit, I think. So, like, that has relatively fixed knockback. That probably works um, for long enough, let's say. Because uh, back in Brawl, specifically Snake versus Falco, because there was a chain grab into a spike, they would just blow themselves up until they were out of that percent, and then they would fight Falco per, per usual. So not something snakes are really are probably going to do in this particular game, but it's an option if the scenario comes up. Just keep that in mind. Mm. Hey, well, let's see where this game three goes. Going to PS2, pretty good stage for both of these characters. I think Snake might have a little bit of an advantage, but um, 
I mean, Meister's Meister, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Battlefield wasn't a bad stage. Just unfortunately, Alan Dis uh, allowed Meister to charge the bucket. And you're dying to zero. I mean, in this case, 33, but might as well be zero. So I think for Snake, that's still negative percent. <laughs> okay, forward air out of the shield. I think just trying to find an option, maybe just try to catch Meister just being aggressive or something like that. Uh, it is what it is, but Meister is uh, playing this definitely a lot better right now, controlling the pace, setting the tempo, just being the boss, honestly. There. Yeah. There. Oh. Damage stacks up so quickly and the stocks disappear even faster. Just, it looked like the Meister show and then just... Apparently the season got canceled. Mid-season too. No, we just pulled the plug. <laughs> it's oh, supposed man. to be a mid-season finale, and they're like, actually, we're done. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. Firefly, oh, that show, man. <laughs> that was that was actually really insane. I can't believe how fast they were able to turn that around immediately, just decimating that stock. That was actually really insane. But gonna take that stock right back. 57% though for the troubles. I don't know, man. Allen might have something up their sleeves, put a little bit more damage, maybe get an up tilt. Snake up tilt's a top 15 character in this game, but, you know. Also, I was unaware that Meister has been punishing with down tilt off his dash attack a lot. And I always thought you had way less time to punish Snake's dash attack. I'm not sure what trickery that uh, Meister's using, but it's been working very consistently. Ooh, that's a good trade for Allen, though. Tomahawk up tilt. Not something you see every day, but it's definitely working out. Wow, got out and live. There. What is worth? That might be the coolest thing I've ever seen in Game Watch 2. That was so sick. Okay, gonna go for the back throw here just to put him off stage. Getting some more damage on the though. 147. Game Watch does have a few options to just blow up some stocks. We saw the down tilt a couple times. Continues to pile it on, man. At some Ouch. point, you gotta go. Here it goes through. Nice. Oh, and gets a little something for his troubles. Ooh. Wow. Running all the way over, punishing with a dash attack. Meister does find the opening. Ties up the stocks. And now it's anyone's game. Well, how much damage? 34, 48. Meister, is he done? Apparently. The oh, second pair is pure sure. flex. It was. Well, the first one was pure flex. The second one was essential. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? No. It's no, no, he's not dead. But, I mean, one more, is especially at that position on stage, definitely uh, will probably be lights out for Allen. But, I mean, it is Snake. We've seen the damage output he's had. He blew up that first stock seemingly out of nowhere. Definitely has it within him to do it again. Tried to get the one hit in air. I don't think a one hit in air up tilt would have killed or a down smash, but uh, did go for it. And you also can't give Meister anything else to finish the bucket. That's the other thing that makes it so terrifying if you're at Allen. People, people really, people really <laughs> gotta stop running at the game and watch when he starts an up smash. Yeah. Oh. oh, Meister doing such a good job of just keeping the pressure on Allen. This. Allen's looking for the up tilt though. Meister's looking for well anything but. This is certainly tough for both players. Oh no, getting clipped by the forward air. How do you land? Apparently, very easily. Yeah, secret oh. was there to buy him some real estate. We don't care about that bucket, huh? Yeah, apparently <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Looking like an action hero, man. Jumping out of that explosion just in time. How are they both still alive? Someone needs to die. My oh, you, you've done this before. There it is. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> he just tossed it out. Why, why, why not? Your opponent keeps jumping at you. Oh. It covered all that space. Everything between the two platforms was a death zone. Wow. That was... Uh... That was certainly an ending. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know my voice could hit that. 
Wow. Not <laughs> what we expected, but definitely tense at the end. Meister patiently waiting for the opening, recognizing, hey, I'm at around 84, 85%. Snake can kill me right now, playing as risk-free as possible, and just taking that C4 and closing out game number three because of it. Mm -hmm. Man. Um... <laughs> that... I'm there's just so many, like so many C4s at the end of that game, uh, the game three. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't sure what to make of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's especially hilarious because like there was a solid like 40 seconds, almost a minute where like there was almost no C4s, really respecting the bucket. And then it's just something flipped in Alan's head. It's like, but what if this game was directed by Michael Ben? Hear me out. <laughs> what if everything blew up? Yeah, that's kind of what it felt like. Happened. Yeah. I, I really do like the uh, the up special from Meister off the platform as the C4 blew up. I just thought that was really funny looking. <laughs> Ooh, he was mashing. Yeah, Alan this is remember the, the the one on the left that almost killed? Mm -hmm. Was much higher percent and also Alan this was in the air when the forest mash connected. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anyone mash as fast as Alan did. At least not against Game Watch. Yeah, a lot of people resign themselves to their fate, but sometimes you just gotta never give up. Here we go in a small opening for 44. I, don't, I honestly don't know who's gonna be able to die first here because we've seen what Alan Diss does with a, with a smaller opening. You know, setting up the C4 into the up air, just blowing up the Game of Watch off the top. That was for the first stock last game. But Meister totally in control here, it seems. Yeah, amazing pressure. And yes, using the um, up B to just block him away from getting on stage. You have to roll in, you have to fully commit. And if you do that, then you're already kind of showing your hand. Meister checking away every single option on the ledge. Um, well, every single good option on the ledge that Alan Diss had there. And hold this 43. Oh! <laughs> Yes, privilege, Lord. Yeah, man, Meister's able to put down a lot of damage, especially for a character with a bigger body like Snake. Not like his body's super huge, but he's definitely taller, can get caught up in a bit more. Man, landing right in that shield, gonna get punished for it immediately. <laughs> just don't stop, just don't stop. <laughs> There's something we've learned from last game, is that Alan just has no problem doing the same move over and over again. <laughs> Hey, Even man, if it means we're gonna get a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> I just like, it's worth it, you know? <laughs> two charges? Even for my stock, that's worth it. Oh. Uh oh. Gave him two piece. Where's the biscuit? Oh, there's a grenade. Just bucket. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Or freeze. Yeah, so was... you are one down smash and one grab away from me. Good up tilt, though. I'm just definitely staying alive, but you're just in such a poor position right now. Yeah, I'm seeing Sorry, we've seen now live to like 197 uh, last game, so it's he can go the distance with these stocks, but uh, that's gonna be tough for sure. Well, yeah. you essentially have to two stock Meister right now, because if you lose a stock at any point, you're in jeopardy of a nair or a grab, and that's gonna be the bucket. Meister's not gonna use it before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, functionally, this is Alan. This is last stop. And there we go. I think I think it's a wrap. I mean, I can't count him out completely, but like, if he gets nared or grabbed or, um, really, that's it. Like nared or grabbed, you can't afford to get hit by either of those. I'm throwing all the projectiles. Alan, this is like, all right, man. Well, this is what it's come to. Oh, no! Oh, oh, wait! Wake what was up. that? Wake, wake up, up, wake up, wake up! <laughs> you late for school! What are you doing? Here's that, some water! That looked like one of those, uh, one of those videos where, like, someone's sleeping and you just, like, see this one person coming with a big cup of water and just dumps it all over their head. <laughs> like, that's what that, that's what that reminded me of. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Teching is important, kids. Well. Keep that in mind. <laughs> What did we learn from Xanadu 400? Uh, tech? Or don't give your opponent a bucket if you're Snake. Wow. That is true. Yeah. Just well. Oh, well, shout out to Meister, though. 
Uh, we saw Alan Dis start off strong with that game one, but Meister going to take the next three. Just goes to show the adaptation at the tippy top level and how it works for uh, for players like Meister. But going to get the rematch here in Grand Finals as they go against Nair. Looking for some revenge. We saw game five in Winners Finals. See how it plays out in Grands. If Meister's able to get it done, we go into a reset. And I mean, that, that could be even tougher, man. You got to take six games coming up. Yeah. yeah. Especially with how dominant that last game was, like, or the last game between Nair and Meister. Granted, RNG was a bit on his side, but, like, that's part of the character. Like, if you're able to manipulate the situation and the RNG, then, like, that's on the player. And Nair is looking pretty good right now. I'm really curious to see what Meister needs to do or what momentum Meister needs to have to overcome that hurdle that we saw in Game 5. It was so consistent that, uh... I don't know. Like, <laughs> you need you need to take the dice out of your opponent's hands, okay? That's what you mm -hmm. need to do. True, true. Yeah, well, toss now the whole casino. It's kind of it's kind of kind of yeah, taking out the dice, you know, all the, all the <laughs> RNG we got coming up. <laughs> true enough. I mean, we haven't seen too much RNG on the side of uh, Meister, but like maybe that'll be the way to go. Just gotta fight fire with fire. Hey. Is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, oh man! I'm I'm gonna show you the best birthday cake I've gotten before. Ooh, on stream? Maybe. Oh, just don't eat by H Already ate it. Drop it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So does it show up? Uh, no. You so that's my face. Oh, we uh, wrong side. Wrong side. You need to you need to center it just a little bit more. <laughs> oh, am I centered yeah. now or not centered anymore? It looks like black confetti and a splatoon logo so it's on uh, it's on <laughs> twitter but it actually is a my picture oh i see yeah that's supposed to be olimar's helmet with an antenna oh, and oh. Palette, and the sour patch kids are the pikmin Ooh. okay a lot and of sugar. The, the, the top that's is uh, actually it's watermelon jolly rancher hmm. okay um it's all on the twitter because I posted it and it actually does break. So I did indeed use a mallet to hit it. And this is, that's me hitting it. And I was like, that is the most creative. I, no, it's not actually a cake, but I was just like, that is the most creative thing I've ever had as a birthday gift in terms of food. Yeah, order was it court, like home huh? baked or custom? It was custom. Um, and the picture's edible too. There's, there's, there's actually backups. I don't know, man. It's, I don't have anything to do with it, but keep it. But still. <laughs> oh, hey, um, J Dog. What's up? Favorite Xanadu memory. Oh. Uh, um. <laughs> hmm. I think opening day of like new Xanadu. No, launch. Launch was probably up there. Like just everyone like playing a new game. Like everyone grinding to be the best. Everyone just trying to figure out what like new stuff is happening. And like I think it was like a. 24 hour venue for like three days. It was a really good time. The vibes were immaculate. And I don't know if we'll ever have like that new game energy with that much vigor again. So one of the best moments for Xandu. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh -oh. but, I do not oh, have any Xandu memories. <laughs> I've actually uh, never, never set not. foot inside, so. <laughs> but soon. You will join us soon. You will join us soon. Soon for sure. Actually, you know what? Yeah, my favorite Xanadu memory is actually typing exclamation point match arena in the chat. And uh, we can actually raise the 